Hello you guys and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how you can make a modular sofa using slab and converting it to morph. Uh, the first step is actually to change our dimensions. Projects preferences, working units and I'm changing it to millimeters. to dimensions to change uh, from meters to millimeters as well and now I would like to start creating a slab. I will create the corner unit first. I just want to be sure I'm centering my drawing. So I'll make a module that's one meter by one meter. That means 1,000 by 1,000. So this is a slab that I'm going to use as a plinth. So I will change the color. I just I think I'm going to make a brown, something like an oak. Fine. I'm going to generate uh, to generate perspective to see and. I would like to change the height for this to 5 centimeters. So I'm dragging from this point and then I'm selecting from this window that just appeared the stretch height option and I'm going down with the mouse and pressing R and I'm typing 50, press enter and this will be the pin. Now I'm going to use um, this slab again. So I'm I'm creating a copy, Control Shift D, and I am attaching it above. I change the color so you can see the difference. I'm going to make it a white titanium. What? Right. So um, normally a seat height is from 40 centimeters to 44. So now that I have this one that's five centimeters, I will add a base that's 20 centimeters. So I'm just gonna drag from this point up. I'm gonna type 200. So this is another 20. And I'm gonna drag this module up as well. And now I have the base and I have the cushion. Now another thing is I need to create the back on both corners. So I will retract a bit. So I'm selecting this edge here and I'm dragging it and I will use offset edge and I'm going to drag it down here by 200 and I'll do this for the cushion as well. Press R, 200 and I need to retract the same um, on the other side. So I'm selecting, I'm going to drag this uh, edge on the back, press R, 200, and again, press R, 200. Now the reason why I created these two pieces, although they completely align at this point, is because I want to have a obvious edge between them. Now I will need to create the back, so this is my method. You can always do something different of course. I'm just dragging a copy of the base module. I'm going to make it 200 and usually uh, an arm height is 65, 62, so I'll make it 65. 65 minus the 5 centimeters of the splint, that's 6 
60. So 600 here, arm and back are the same height. I'll do same thing on this side. So I'm going to drag a copy, Control Shift D, and I'm dragging it to this point here and making it 200. And another thing that I will do is I will attach this corner here. So you need to drag one of the backs to touch the other one and then I'm dragging this up until it meets the other. So now basically you have the outline of the corner unit and I now need to create the loose back cushions. So I'm dragging this piece up, Control Shift D. I'm dragging it here, and then I'm going to drag it to the front. Now, of course, this is way too tall, so I will minimize it to 350. So 350. I think it's a fine proportion. Now, the first thing that I will do is I select the slab that for now is the base and I'm going to convert it to a morph. I'm actually going to convert everything else into a morph here because I need to bevel the edges. To convert uh, this slab into a morph, a right click, convert selection to morph. Now that this is a morph, I will touch the edge and I'm trying to drag it so I can have this window pop up and I'm going to use the fillet chamfer edge and I'm going to use the fillet option and for uh, this radius I'm going to put in 10 instead of 100 which was the standard and I'm going to apply it to all edges so make sure you tick this and click OK and now you see you have a tiny um, beveled edge here. I will do the same for my uh, back pieces. So I'll convert this one into a morph. And I'll convert the second one into a morph. And I'm, uh, I want to bevel the edges as I did for the base. So I'm going to use the same settings, fillet, 10 and apply to all edges and I'll do this for the other one as well so it's already a morph I'm just dragging from an edge and this window pops up remember to apply to all edges is not a standard setting so now that I have this created I would like to have this seat cushion look a bit more soft. So I'll convert this one into a morph again. And I'm dragging the edge just this time. Oh, just this time. I'm going to leave it at 50 instead of 10. I'm going to apply to all edges. Now this looks a bit softer. So I'll need to do this for this uh, back cushion as well. Now I need to change a bit the back cushions. So I will create an angle here. These two will be my back cushions, which are a bit chunky. I think it would be a good idea to just make this dimmer. So let's make them.
Now I'm converting the slabs to a morph and I'm applying the same uh, fillet as I did before, 50 to make it softer. I'll do this one as well. <coughs> Now I'd like to give them a bit of an angle, so control E. I'll do this on the other side. And this is the corner module and if you want to see this um, I control A file libraries and objects save selection as object corner module I leave everything as it is. And now when I'm going to object, I have this one selected already. This is my module, which can be mirrored. You can create uh, every module in the same way and then you can save it as an object, you can move it around. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.